is what we call hater shit. There is no better term. Uh, real quick, I wanted to give a shout out um, to my second customer. And let me tell you how <sighs> this man bought this shirt for his girlfriend. That's the type that that's that's the type of man everyone needs around. You need your man to do that. Every woman needs their man to do that. <laughs> Thank you all so much. Again, no name dropping, but you know who you are. Thank you so much. And please, again, please let me know because it I'm like going insane. I want to see what they look like and I want to see it whenever y'all get it. Oh, I'm so excited. 39 weeks, four days pregnant, woke up and needed to use the restroom at 6 a.m. See previous post. Finally made it at 8 a.m. Imagine the long-term effects of this on my body. And the babies, Heather, and the baby. Pay attention to the support that disappears when you are too pregnant to have sex. Refuse to be used as a S doll or cannot offer value to the ego of the oppressor. I want to press charges against everyone involved. Hashtag cancel rape culture. My dad, his wife, and this version of Xavier are the guys I know who roll cigs. Sure, hello. What? Look, y'all. Look at this. Yeah, cigs my ass. You also be rolling something else. <laughs> Heather Gillespie, 2-12-24. My phone charges are missing from the locked tent that no one has permission to open or enter. Where were you at? Were you Why were you not with your tent? Sponsors have been MIA for a couple weeks at least conveniently, only days before I give birth. ETA for baby is 2-15-24. Like, I mean... <laughs> This is what I hope helps her people to be like, you know what? I am so tired of you calling us your sponsors. I'm so tired of us. Like, I mean, I'm so tired of you getting mad at us if we don't give you. Like, I don't know who her little sponsors are, but I'm sure most of them are not rich and don't have hundreds and loads of money to give her. And I'm sure they have their own life and bills and shit that they have to deal with, too. Like, seriously. They're changing Xavier's behavior again. And you know what? Honestly, Heather, if it wasn't for all those people who donate to you, you wouldn't literally, you wouldn't have anything. You know how much people donated to you? Whether it's people on the street giving you freaking free food or all these, whoever these sponsors people are that you call. Do you know how much they've helped you? They sent you cash app. They sent you baby stuff. They sent you stupid fucking makeup, facial shit. Way to go. Thanks for, like, you're shining through now. Hopefully, you're losing these sponsors because they could see how you're fucking treating them. You're not grateful. You're not appreciative. Uh, literally days before my due date, about to be 40 weeks pregnant. Could go into labor any day now. February 15th is my due date. And now, uh, the sawed off water bottle that they have me urinating in from the tent that they have me sleeping in for going on 12 months now. It will be one full year on February 14th since we've slept indoors in a bed. Uh, one full year of oppression out of jobs, out of income. The only income that they allow me to receive is income that I earn fundraising through my socials. That's such a lie. Do I need to rewind that? What did you just say? Out of income, the only income that they allow me to receive is income that I earn fundraising through my socials. Okay, see, see how whenever you don't tell the truth, Heather, like they are giving you free money. The government's giving you this money, and you're talking about the only thing I have is what I get on here. Girl, you need to be lucky. I, you really need to be thanking God. Like, you really do. Because I don't know how many people... Like, how many people do you think live in a tent who live like you, Heather? Who get to do the things that you do? 
and woke up today after Xavier, again, fake Xavier, imposter Xavier, whatever the fuck Xavier we're talking about, who has been here every single day for nearly 19 months now, uh, suddenly has problems with the way that we have to survive. So could y'all imagine watching Heather and Xavier? I really wish, I wish I could talk to Heather and to doing, I've told her this before. Heather, I know you're watching. Okay, Heather, I... I told you this before. Instead of crowdsourcing, as you say, which is grifting, scamming, e-begging, dry bag, all of that stuff, Heather, instead of doing that, freaking monetize your YouTube channel. At least that way you'll receive money and you won't have to be like begging people and take other people's money. Like at least you're kind of you're you're earning that money. Then hopefully that'll make you feel better so you don't have to beg all the time. And that's so weird to me is that she's already, she could be monetized. And she could get paid, paid from YouTube. Y'all already see how many people watch her. Just imagine if she fucking monetized her channel and did this shit on her channel and not Instagram. She could actually get paid for it. And the only reason why I'm saying this is she could get paid for it and not have to beg for money. But that's what blows my mind is she doesn't really have to do anything. She's doing the same. Whatever she's doing on Instagram, she could do on YouTube and get paid for it. But she's not just, she, she won't go monetize. That's it. That's all you have to do, Heather. It's just monetize. <laughs> that's it. That's literally it. And you not doing that, it blows my mind. It is so crazy to me. It's like, why would she not monetize her channel to get money? On her own, directly sent to her. She made that money. It's hers that makes you feel better instead of just begging everyone online for money and having sponsors. Like, it's it's really weird. So, I just wish I could see Heather sit here and talk about Xavier, Dylan, like her having to fucking deal with Xavier. And then I want to see Xavier talking about having to deal with Heather. Like, that would be the best. Heather, let Xavier have an account, please. Woke up today after Xavier, again, fake Xavier, imposter Xavier, whatever the fuck Xavier we're talking about, who has been here every single day for nearly 19 months now, uh, suddenly has problems with the way that we have to survive and uh, engages in physical altercation with me around. This is really what you people. Instagram be cutting her off. This is really what you. Okay. February 12th, Airbnb support, Airbnb security code, I don't know why you have so many security codes. This is really what you people do. This is how you choose to spend your time. So now, after nearly a year, February 14th, you can go to the highlight section of this page. It's at the top. There's a little Thank section that says Airbnb reviews. You could go there and look at every single review that has been positive because I don't have any negative reviews because I'm an excellent guest. I pay. I clean. Uh, I mind my own fucking business. And for some reason, a year ago, Airbnb said, uh, we're locking your account, blocking your account. Um, as I said, I've paid directly from my own bank account every time. There's been no gift card usage. There's been no usage from a third party, which is all legal. But because you people are so dense, um, I have done everything directly from my own bank account to prevent issues like this. Yet here we sit and I am about to give birth 39 weeks and five days pregnant now. And you have been trying. To I'm sorry. How the hell is she 39 weeks, five days? How was she that far? I, I, I did not think she was going to make it to 40. And I'm so scared. I don't even want to say... i seen someone write it in the comments. And I almost replied. But I, was, I, I couldn't even... Like, I don't even want to say what I'm scared of. Like, maybe she's made it this long because the baby's... Maybe the baby hasn't been moving because the baby's... You know, like, I can't, I, I mean, uh, I swear if that, like, I'm, I'm curious, not that I want that, on, I mean, I want enough on it so she could take accountability and change, but I wonder if anything was wrong with this baby, 
Would she take accountability? Would she change? Would she feel remorse? Would she know it was her fault? I mean, I don't want her to go crazy and, like, herself, but I want her to understand her, what like, all of her actions. Like, they have consequences. And, unfortunately, that included the baby, too. And her other three kids. And her family. Everybody. Now, after the drama last night, literally, I... So now, after the drama last night, literally, I wake up. I'm sleeping. Do you understand this? I'm like this. Let me act this out for anyone who may need a little extra assistance. So now, after the drama last night, literally, I wake up. I'm sleeping. Do you understand this? I'm like this. Let me act this out for anyone who may need a little extra assistance understanding. I'm like this. Or like this. Right? Holding on to my 40-week pregnant tummy asleep in my tent because I've been denied shelter, 20 shelter requests. And someone is trying to open my Airbnb account that has been closed for a year. And they're trying to help you. (laughs) That is not being used. So again, someone is impersonating me, probably the same people who have been using my health insurance, probably the same people who have been using my my budget and my sponsored money. Same people who's been using your budget and your sponsor money. I cannot with you. That's a silly little goose, Heather. You're silly. Probably the reason why Xavier and I have not received a meal in, I don't know, three weeks from the sponsors. And I- That is a lie. Sorry, that was probably really loud. But that's a lie. You did, that, y'all had a, that, y'all had a pretty dang good meal. Don't, don't, don't go, don't, go back to my videos, Heather. There's the receipts. It is not, it was not three weeks. And I'm sure you've been eating meals off camera too. You don't, you probably just got done eating. I've had to improvise and handle everything. Probably all of those are improvise and handle everything. Probably all of those are the same. I got a new sketchbook for $5 at Target with 160 pages. Daddy girl. I need a tan. I look so pale. Are they in the hot? Are they going to? What? Are we grabbing lunch? I need. Oh, shut up. Oh, she says she's grabbing lunch. I was about to fall out. I thought, she was, I, I, I thought, I thought it was a moment. I thought, I thought they were going to the hospital. <laughs> Sorry, I just had to point out. Look, Heather, you're eating yet again. One by one, impersonating my friends and family. They force me. They do it to me so that I'll have no choice but to speak out on it and document it so that their uh, future generations of people trying to figure out what fucked up shit they're doing can just watch my FTR section and get an idea. It's disgusting. My due date is in two days. Do you really think that this is the type of aggravation that I need two days before I give birth? And see, that's another thing. Like two days before I give birth, or what are you gonna? Or is she waiting until she's she thinks she's like? Is she gonna wait till the fifteenth and then walk in? Like, or would it? Would it? Would it? <laughs> I'm so nervous because my father, knowing I've been raped, beaten, robbed, and abused, and lived outside of that, among other adversities, is going to have a problem with my attitude unlikely my father wants answers just as much as i do you people are ignorant 
He has helped me call numerous shelters and heard for himself. They have all declined to offer any assistance, including the city of Chicago's 311 Emergency Shelter Department. If you are new here, you should do your research before you put your foot in your mouth. My family is off limits. You have ignored every victimization I have reported and completely ignored the ripple effect of your unlawful and unethical actions. Who exactly is she talking to? Can I, I'll talk to your dad. Each of you should back off and turn your focus inward. What do you have going on? Why are you so focused on me, my business, and my family? Heather. Heather! Why would you say... We did, like, okay, here's another mirror. Focus inward, Heather. Focus inward. What do you have going on for yourself? You're sleeping in a tent. And everybody's going to try to help you. And the way that you act and treat people, this is what it has become. 39 weeks, 5 days. This is the farthest I've ever made it in all my pregnancies. Yeah, this is a crazy. F crazy. February 12, 2024. I'm so scared, y'all.